How to manually disable a plugin in WordPress with a FTP? Do you need to deactivate all WordPress plugins but you cannot access the WordPress admin area? During WordPress troubleshooting, it is better to deactivate all plugins and then reactivate them one by one. But what if you cannot access the WordPress admin area to deactivate the plugins? In this method, we will need to either use an FTP client or the file manager option in your WordPress hosting control panel. If you haven't used FTP before, you may want to see our video on connecting with FTP at your hosting account. So let's go to the site. You see now there is an error. Now, if we go to the admin area, you will also see it is an error. We will need first to make a FTP connection from our PC or laptop to the server. If you have not connected your computer to the server, please check the description of the video. I have explained every step and what is needed for the connection. In this tutorial, we will use an already created connection, so if you have not done this, pause the video and check the description of the video. A connection is required. Let's open WinSCP. Click on Login. Now, on the right part, open the folder public underscore HTML. Open folder wp-content. Here, you will see the folder plugins. Open plugins folder. Here, you will see all plugins. If you know the plugin that is causing the error, go with the mouse over that plugin. Right click on that plugin. Click on Rename. Add a letter or a number after the name of the plugin. I will just put a 2 after the name of this plugin. After you do that, go to the administration panel site and refresh. If the site is working, then you fix the problem. But what if you still have problems? Let's go to the plugins folder. Right click on the plugins folder. On the menu, click on Rename. Let's add two also. Now let's go back to the WordPress admin panel. Now refresh the page. You see now I can log in on the site. So let's log in into the dashboard. Go with the mouse over plugins and click on install plugins. Do not worry about these errors. But now you have deactivated all plugins on your site. Now to add back the plugins, go to the WinSCP. Right click the folder you just renamed. Click again on rename. Delete the two figure. Perfect. Now let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. Refresh the page. You will see now the full list of plugins. You will have to activate every plugin one by one. This way you will see exactly what plugin gets you the error. You see now an error. This is the plugin that was causing the error. Now activate all other plugins and your site should be fine. This is how you manually disable a plugin in WordPress with a FTP account. If this was useful, please like, share and subscribe. You can also watch more videos from the right. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.